synthesis to do with you know sort of not being a boy and gender contrast? Mm. What sort of thought did you give to people who perhaps identify you know as both genders or neither yeah. gender? Like I've sort of left trans issues largely out of the book, really. I mean, there are a couple of kind of nods towards it. Yeah. I'd say you know um, men and women and people for whom these words have never held much value. Or, but um, because it's a personally based memoir, I've never knowingly met uh, that many trans people I don't think I it's always said before to ask but, um, yeah. but that certainly I, I don't I don't know anyone uh, like that very well so mm-hmm. they just they haven't really I've led a very sheltered life in that respect and I, uh, so I, I'm careful not to write about stuff that I don't really know about I mean I've read a few books and I read Juno Dawson's book and, but um, uh, I, I kind of left that alone because I'm sort of concentrating on mm-hmm. because it's my experience and the things you've seen. Yeah, yeah, and the sort of traditional masculinity and traditional femininity, I suppose, that the sort of cisgendered end of it um, is, is where, I'm, where I'm, I have the most chance of knowing what I'm talking about. What's your strongest? Yeah. Do you think things such as, you know, cosplay, I don't know if you know what cosplay is, it's, it's on the rise, really. Vaguely. You know, where, sort of where people dress up as characters from books. And oh, right, yeah, yeah. Games and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've got a friend who's... Manfred, these people really right. getting it. But do you think things such as that are good in how sort of anyone can be any character, regardless of gender? Yeah, I think yeah, yeah I think any any attempt to mix things up a bit like that is uh, it's got to be basically healthy as long as no one gets hurt. It's, it sounds quite a laugh. Yeah. Do you think you'd encourage your children to do it? Perhaps. I don't know. I don't know enough. Maybe about find it. out a bit more about it first. Yes, I need yeah. to find out. More. No, it's certainly become a big thing. I think over the past yearish. Right. I've had to go at it once. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that as a prop, but just. Did you go <laughs> out? I did a Joker one. Right. And yeah. it's basically a party. It's it's just kind of like you know you get all those different comic cons. Yeah. Uh, you just choose a character. Yeah. Do yourself up. Right. Go. It's basically it's like you could go. You could go. Wait, wait. Just at the con itself, really. At the at the actual. At the actual, yeah, because you're surrounded right, by right. people who are sort of into this. It's, it's com- 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 getting com- dressed up and meeting in the pub. No, no, no it's different. Right, okay. I mean, you could if you want. That's, that's how we. That's the standard. Yeah. When reading the book, do you think people should perhaps have a specific mindset, or do you think they should just go in it? No, once they've once they bought the book, they're in charge. They're, they're the boss. That's fine. Uh, they'll read it however they like. As quickly or slowly as they like. <laughs> One word. Yeah. Each day. Uh, was there a point after the book gained sort of you know big responses, you know, lots of reviews and comments, where you realised sort of how big an impact it had made? There was a sort of um, creeping, uh, a, a gradual build up of relief. Uh, can relief build up? No, it can't. But you know, I mean, there was a, 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 a gradual dissipation of relief anyway. But uh, you know, I, I was writing and I thought, well, you know what? Yeah, I think this is a really good book, but it might be read by just my friends and a couple of other people, and I can look forward to three or four um, supportive emails, uh, and that'll be that. And we'll just pretend this never happened. So just someone reads it. Yeah, exactly. And then it, it, I realised that you know that some of the endorsements came in, the one from Joe Rowling and, and Dawn French and Ian Rankin, and, uh, the, because they read the proposal, and then those comments were attached to the proposal, it went out to publishers, and then there were 13 publishers interested, and that was a big old, yeah. you know, um, my agent and myself, we, we tried to organise a, an unseemly scuffle about who got, the, who got to publish it, and that was all very enjoyable. Again, uh, you know, at each stage there was this, uh, this reassuring feeling that, and then when I realised what kind of game we're going to spend on the marketing and Audible, and then it got Book of the Week, and then Channel 4 News when I was doing the interview, and then Woman's Hour, and you, you realise that actually this is going to be, uh, this, this is going to make a, a splash, and so, and then, and then it goes into the uh, Sunday Times um, chart at number one, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Nothing but disappointment to follow, but anyway, but that was a good place to start. And now you're here at the Durham Book Festival. Now I'm here at the Durham Book Festival, and this is this is I just peaked. I peaked. <laughs> that was it.